This is the data set that is from the gasoline study. It can be found on my website at statstutor.books.officelive.com. All you have to do is scroll down to downloadable data sets and you can punch the uh, gasoline study and download the Excel program. With this data set, the first thing we need to do is create the data regression. To do this, we go to Data, then over to Data Analysis, and down to Regression. Select OK. We're going to put in the Y range. When I do this, I'm going to include my headers. So this is my Y range. Okay, then I'm going to put in my X ranges. This is my X range. Everything else that was not Y, including the headers. Since I use my headers, I'm going to check the labels box. Now I'm going to put my output range, and I'm going to put this data right below the data set. So I'm going to scroll down, choose this box, and click OK. Now I have the regression analysis needed to complete the Y, Y hat, Y columns. Go ahead and put those in. Y hat, Y, Y hat. Let's also go ahead and give those columns an underlining border. I like the thick bottom border myself. The equation for y hat is, this is the symbolic equation. In this box, we're going to put in the actual Excel equation. So follow me closely, please. Equals. And scroll down to B sub O, F4 plus B sub 1, F4 times X1. plus B sub 2 F4 times X2 plus B sub 3 F4 times X3 plus B sub 4 F4 times X4 plus B sub 5 F4 times X5 plus B sub 6 F4 times X6 enter let's go ahead and format this to no decimal places and now we're going to take and copy this equation straight down so take your white cross till it turns to a black cross and drag down your equation. Okay, now we have y hat. Let's go ahead and copy this. Right click copy. Right click in this box under the y hat. Paste special. Values only. Okay. Let's go ahead and format these to no decimal places. Now we need to put in our y range which is the data over here for Y. We're just going to copy this data. Control C is copy. 
and we're going to put it right here under Y. Control V is paste. Okay, now to check that we've got the right equation in, we're going to auto sum each of these columns. So click the auto sum and fill this and just drag down and collect this whole column. Hit enter. And now you'll see that we have 7411. We're going to copy this equation over to the two columns. And as long as these three numbers match, we've put in the right equation. With these three columns, we can now create the scatter diagram. 